After becoming a senator in 1948, Johnson developed an unrivaled power base in Washington, using his forceful personality, political skills, and corruption. He established himself as one of the most influential men in the nation, but as vice president to Kennedy, he lost much of that authority. By 1961, his past was catching up with him. In Texas, Henry Marshall, a local agricultural official, had begun investigating one of Johnson's illegal sources of funding. Working out of these offices in Bryan, Texas, Marshall had become aware of Billy Solesti's misappropriation of federal cotton allotment funds. Attempts to buy off Marshall had failed, and his investigations were beginning to threaten the vice president himself. Billy Celestes became worried, Lyndon Johnson became worried, and some of them got together and decided, what are we going to do with Henry Marshall? So on one particular day, according to Billy Celestes, Billy Celestes, Cliff Carter, an aide to Lyndon Johnson, Lyndon Johnson, the Vice President of the United States, and Malcolm Wallace got together. And finally, Lyndon made the statement, get rid of him. On June the 3rd, 1961, Henry Marshall failed to return home. An extensive search was made of the family farm near Franklin, Texas. His only son, Don, was 11 years old at the time and remembers that day well. My uncle found him on the second attempt uh, when he, he went out uh, to the place. He was uh, in a very remote location, probably about three quarters of a mile off the road. My mother had this stone placed here uh, in order to, to mark the spot. The truck had blood around the sides of it. Uh, the uh, side on the, on the passenger side had a dent in the fender behind the passenger door, and that's apparently where my father's head was uh, knocked into the side of the truck, and uh, he had his eye damaged at that point. Uh, there were a number of yopon bushes that had been broken, and, and the gun was laying beside the body, and pretty much nothing else uh, could be seen except signs of a struggle. Local officials immediately ruled it a suicide, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. He had been shot five times with a bolt-action rifle. He had enough carbon monoxide in his lungs to cause him to pass out at the time he died. Uh, there was no effort made to collect any evidence or preserve the, the crime scene. They had pretty much determined in their minds and that this was going to be a suicide. When Billy Saul Estes testified before the grand jury in Franklin, uh, he implicated Cliff Carter and Malcolm Wallace as the people that were most involved in my father's murder. Uh, Wallace being the trigger man and Cliff Carter uh, being the one who arranged for the uh, murder. I'm firmly convinced that uh, Malcolm Wallace uh, uh, was the, the killer of my father. Who that would have aided, uh, probably uh, political power behind everything, Johnson would have been aided more than anyone else. The grand jury concluded Henry Marshall in 1961 was murdered, which means in simple language that the grand jury believed Billy Solestes when he told them that Lyndon Johnson had ordered Malcolm Wallace to kill Henry Marshall.